Hello everybody. Welcome to this tutorial on control execution in KTurtle. In this tutorial, we will learn while loop and for loop. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 12.04, KTurtle version 0.8.1 beta. We assume that you have basic working knowledge of KTurtle. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website. Let us open a new KTurtle application. Click on Dash Home. In the search bar, type KTurtle. Click on the option. KTurtle application opens. Let me first explain about what is control execution. Control execution is controlling the flow of a program. Different conditions are used to control program execution. Loop is a block of code executed repeatedly till a certain condition is satisfied. Example, while loop and for loop. Let us begin the tutorial with while loop. In the while loop, code inside the loop repeats till boolean evaluates to false. Let me explain the structure of while loop. While loop condition within brackets do something with loop increment variable. I already have the code in a text editor. Let me copy the program from text editor and paste it into KTurtle's editor. Please pause the tutorial here and type the program into your KTurtle editor. Resume the tutorial after typing the program. Let me zoom into the program text. It may possibly be a little blurred. Let me explain the program. Hash sign comments a line return after it. It means this line will not be executed while running the program. Reset command sets turtle to its default position. $x equal to 0 initializes the value of variable x to 0. Message in a program is given within double quotes after the keyword message. Message command takes string as input. It shows a pop-up dialog box containing text from the string. While $x less than 30 checks the while condition. $x equal to $x plus 3 increments the value of variable x by 3. Font size 15 sets the font size used by print command. Font size takes number as input set in pixels. Forward 20 commands turtle to move 20 steps forward on the canvas. Print $x displays the value of variable x on the canvas. Let me click on the run button to run the program. A message dialog box pops up. Let me click OK. Multiples of 3 from 3 to 30 are displayed on the canvas. Turtle moves 20 steps forward on the canvas. Let us next work with for loop. For loop is a counting loop. Every time the code inside for loop is executed, variable value is incremented till it reaches the end value. Let me explain the structure of for loop. For variable equal to start number to end number within brackets statement. Let me clear the current program. Let me type clear command 
and run to clean the canvas. Let me copy the program from text editor and paste it into kturtles editor. Please pause the tutorial here and type the program into your kturtle editor. Resume the tutorial after typing the program. Let me zoom into the program text. It may possibly be a little blurred. Let me explain the program. Hash sign comments a line written after it. Reset command sets turtle to its default position. $R equal to 0 initializes the value of variable R to 0. For $X equal to 1 to 15 checks for condition from 1 to 15. $R equal to $X into $X plus 1 by 2 calculates the value of variable R. Font size 18 sets the font size used by print command. Print $R displays the value of variable R on the canvas. Forward 15 commands turtle to move 15 steps forward on the canvas. Go 10, 250 commands turtle to go 10 pixels from left of canvas and 250 pixels from top of canvas. Turtle displays all print commands without any time gap. Wait to command makes turtle to wait for 2 seconds before executing next command. Print command displays the string within double quotes and also displays variable r. Let me click on the run button to run the program. A series of sum of first 15 natural numbers and sum of first 15 natural numbers is displayed on the canvas. Turtle moves 15 steps forward on the canvas. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to use while loop and for loop. As an assignment, I would like you to write programs to evaluate multiples of 2 using while loop, multiplication table of a number using for loop. Watch the video available at this URL. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Madhuri Ganpati from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.